I'll give you the first one. There. He's got a scar on his head. So that's Dan. That's Harry. We'll start here. Hermione. Hermione, yeah. yeah. Neville. Neville. Rom. Rom. Breaker. <laughs> yeah. Snake. No. No, no, that's um isn't that uh Weasley? Uh Arthur Weasley? No. Oh, it's uh Quirrell? No. We're running out of men. Who is yeah. like... <laughs> He's a professor. Or it's Slughorn. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like Slughorn. I think it does. Uh, professor. Chocolate? Where is that Lupin? Sleeper. That's like her favourite and <laughs> it does not look that's, like That's it. your favourite character, David Thewlis. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. It looks exactly like David Thewlis. What about this one? That's very good. Wait, no. Narcissa? Yeah. Bellatrix. Bellatrix. Yeah, Bellatrix. So, could you imagine anybody else playing Bellatrix? No, no. So, if I said to you she wasn't the first person you cast, would that surprise you? I think she said so in the reunion, but... She was the first person yeah, that we cast Bellatrix. Yeah, that's because one of them were pregnant. She got pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> I bet yeah. both of you get this one. I wish you had your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> All the girls get that one. All the girls get that one? All the girls guess that one. He's a very so pretty girl. Be a very handsome well, I don't think he is, but you might. <laughs> is that Tom? Tom. Real? No. He's a very pretty boy. Is it Cedric Diggory? Yeah, it's Cedric Diggory. Yeah. Oh. So, I think you did really well, so I'm going to show you some cool stuff. Yeah. Would okay. you like a little tool? Sure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you something, I'm going to tell you a story that we told for eight years, and I'm going to tell you why my story is not true. Yes. I'm going to show you this. So there's a scene in the films where Harry and Luna meet the Thestrals. Yeah. Do you remember that in the forest? We filmed in a real forest. And of course, Luna's in bare feet. So, this is an exact silicon mould of Ivana Lynch's foot. And if you take a close look, you can see her goosebumps. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. It was either cold when we took the mould or the silicon made her cold. All of the cracks in her heel. That's my favourite oh is this. Real? A sock line. <laughs> Like, wow. So apparently modern silicon is as close to human skin as you'll get. So they made this because Luna's in bare feet in the yeah. forest for Ivana to wear to protect her feet. Ooh. Ivana came to the tour about a month before Covid closed us and saw these feet and said why are they there? I was told <laughs> they were destroyed. I wanted to take them home and she said she never wore them. She's actually in her real bare feet. I think she said she forest. wore a real bare feet. Yeah. In her real feet. Yeah. yeah, she put it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hat. Is it Hagrid? I can't tell you for sure. It's definitely a giant, but I don't know if it's Hagrid. But again, the details. You've got all of the creases in the skin. Oh my God. The knuckle creases. It's very lifelike. You turn it over and you can actually see the pores of the skin. Fingerprints. He looks more like he's been in the bath now. <laughs> but my favourite is, you can actually see the tendons. They're actually raised. Giant. Well, there you go, there's a head. Can you see your nails? I'm going to get in trouble one day. Lovely. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> You'll understand why in a minute. Okay, uh, I thought they said no, so like, you see it all. <laughs> So I ignore the mandrakes because they scream too much. Yeah, okay, yeah. We talk about forks. Yeah. Now, the actor who played Dumbledore <laughs> believed <laughs> that this bird was real for about two weeks. <laughs> you start to understand why. That is real duck and goose feathers that have been painted red and gold. But the back is a pheasant feather for a tail. But the thing that gets me, when forks cries onto Harry's arm, it actually comes out of the animatronic. There's a working tear duct in the animatronic so I don't know how you mix liquids and electrics and it works but they did so you can kind of understand maybe why Richard believed the bird was real. When I did it in the bathroom I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> now the reason I asked about your nails, girls have nails like this. <laughs> Not yours, yours are lovely but all the teenagers here look like this. So whose hand is it? Well it was very sharp. Uh, it's just a verbal. 
Yeah. No, a bit of a smaller creature than that. Ooh, like, like no? Fur on their oh, that's thick fur. <laughs> on his other hand, there's a finger missing. Oh, oh, I have his name. Uh, pedigree. Pedigree. Yeah. So this is the hand that he sacrifices. Yeah. This is real human hair, but they use a hair punch and they put the hair in one at a time so that it looks real. This must have taken so long. These are acrylic nails that you girls get done when you get your fake nails, and then they've just painted them. So that's Peter Pettigrew's hand. It's very so he weird. Did, he did the acrylic hair long before it was popular. Yeah. <laughs> in the first book, that is how Voldemort is described on the back of Professor Quirrell's head. Red eyes, very scary. We tested that with some 12 year old children and they were terrified. Um, so we toned it down a little bit, not to scare people, but also because our rating would have gone up to probably a 12, maybe a 15. So we toned it down a little bit. And then you have three heads. That's when he's in Harry's face. No. <laughs> this is where the swings turn into Harry. Oh, I thought it was when you did it. Oh, and then that one is my wife in the morning before coffee. <laughs> <laughs> she don't work here, thankfully. Your wife, I guess, before <laughs> coffee. <laughs> right, the first mannequin is Harry. This is Harry from the Deathly Hallows. So rather than um, Martin Bayfield in that really heavy costume, carrying Daniel from a forest when he's pretending to be dead, it's a lot easier to carry a mannequin. They're not as heavy, and they're also not floppy. They're very easy to handle. Then the next one is Dumbledore, that's Michael Gambon's Dumbledore. He's not really that small. That is 82% scale. That is the exact size difference between Martin Bayfield and Robbie Coltrane, so the size double and the actor. So it means that Robbie can carry that and still look like a half giant. And then the last one, come on, if you look at it. It's on the black leg when the oh, yeah, yeah. So her feet are tilted, so it looks like she's floating. This mannequin actually has a tube that goes all the way through it, so when the bubbles come out of her mouth in the film, it actually come out of the mannequin, a little squeeze of some air, and it goes up and through. She's so cute. Now, I'm a big fan of the books, and one of the characters that isn't in the films, can you see the black and white picture there at the bottom? Black and white first? Just there. A picture. Winky. Yeah. It's the only picture I've ever seen. In the book, she's a great character. So do you want to see Dobby? Yeah. yeah. So, can you see the stick with the tennis ball? Yeah. That's Dobby. That's Dobby. So Dobby was CGI. So the tennis ball is for eye line, so you know where to look to see Dobby's head. Um, there's a scene in the film where Lucius kicks Dobby downstairs. Yeah. He didn't know he was going to do it. He didn't know he was going to do it. And the director thought that he slipped in some water and wanted it cleaned yeah, up. Like, we do it again? No, yeah. I can't tell <laughs> so he had lived, he had lived that. So I Dobby that. was CGI for all of the films. Yeah. And Daniel would ask for a mannequin for that last scene on the beach. Yeah. And was told no. So when they handed him that, <laughs> they're real tears. Daniel was in character, wasn't actually ready, so when they handed him the mannequin, a little bit of a cry. And if you haven't seen all the films, Dobby fell asleep eating chips and spilled ketchup. I like that. There's a lot of kids that haven't seen it. Preacher. We got a little redemption in the A little bit, French yeah. up there. Like he got kind of nice. For a little bit. Oh wait, no, he's gonna try on that. <laughs> My daughter is terrified of Dobby. Dobby? <laughs> I bought a, I bought a toy one and I put it next to her pillow so when she woke up she saw it and screamed. <laughs> She's 22. <laughs> right up there is a dragon. Do you know which dragon it is? Hungarian or Hungarian? A Hungarian haunter. Yeah. So the guys had never made a dragon before and they really wanted to make it special. So they made this dragon. Can you see inside its mouth it's all smoke damaged? Yeah. And there's a big hole. That's where the flamethrower went. Our special effects guy, John Richardson, put a flamethrower in its mouth and it fired fireballs up to 35 feet. So that was real fire coming out the dragon in the cage. That's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> the neck itself, we recycled from another creature. Oh, which one? What do you think? 
Rasslers? Rasslers. Uh, Over here. <laughs> Just all that was thinking. <laughs> oh, like snake dragon. Oh, which creatures before the dragon? <laughs> it's definitely not Aragorn. Maybe this one. <laughs> okay. Really? So, did you see the sword of Gryffindor in Bumblebee's office? It's a glass. Hey, did you see that? Did you see the sword? What? Yeah. The sword of Gryffindor. Did you see it in Dumbledore's office? No, no. It's in a glass cabinet just above There's the shelf. There's a lot of people there. There's a lot of people there. So the sword in Dumbledore's office is what's called a hero prop. Anything you see up close on screen is called a hero prop. So it has all the beautiful gems in the handle, Godric Gryffindor written down the blade. And Daniel Radcliffe used it once and was never ever allowed to use it again because he <laughs> made a mistake. He was asked to pretend to stab his basilisk. And he did? Yeah. <laughs> Not pretending, but really did that. Between the second and third row of teeth, there's a hole around the thing. Can you see it? I think I see it. It's yeah, I see it. Yeah, I see it. There's a hole he made. Um, and but when the basilisk then dies, for continuity, because in the films it has to look the same, yeah. then has to have the hole in its bones. <laughs> Otherwise, okay, you'll cool. spot it and tell us this is wrong. Yes, and um, fans are actually very keen I'm watching this kind of things and they spot it and yeah. they call you out on it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> they do. So there's a mistake in um, a bit of fire? Where well, they go to Tom Riddle's grave. There's a mistake on the grave. Yeah, that's the, that's the fourth one. Yeah. And they spotted it, fans spotted it and sent it in there to CGI it to fix it. <laughs> yeah. And upon the basilisk, that's the real Aragog. The one in the forest is a replica made just for the tour. During filming, we couldn't have put the spider up there because there's about a ton and a half of machinery that makes the spider work. It's made of lots of different things. So the hair is made of something called sisal, which is like the cousin of coconut hair, broomstick bristles, and yak's hair to make it look furry. To give you an idea how big that is, it's 18 foot across, and I've stood next to that. 18 foot, so about... <laughs> Are you using meters? I'm trying to work that by three. Eight, 18 divided by three, about six meters. Okay. <laughs> For seven years, I've been a death eater here on the tour. I wear the costume from the fields and oh, the mice. Cool. Well, I once stood next to this when it was on the floor, and it makes me look small. It stands about eight foot off the floor and about 18 foot wide when it's on the floor. That's scary. Yeah, and it's a spider. That's scary enough. <laughs> and then the last thing I'm going to show you is Mad Eye's Spawn. Do you know what a sporran is? So, a lot of Scottish men wear a kilt and they have yeah. like a purse that sits on the front. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, I've never noticed that the ferret has the same dodgy eye as Maddo. <laughs> it does. Is this where he got uh, the fake Mad Eye? Is this where he got the inspiration <laughs> for Drake? <laughs> I don't know. That's my favourite that thing ever. Or is he white? Draco's white. He was white. white. He's a white one. I shouldn't say that where I was. <laughs> Careful, she's going to put it on YouTube. Don't put it on YouTube. <laughs> well, we have editing. Yeah, edit me out of it. <laughs> Just my voice. Yeah. Put a dopey head or something. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Your creatures work. Thank you so much it's for showing everything. You can go back now and take pictures. Nice ones. <laughs> it will. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Yeah, thank you. Rolling down my face. Now, before we go, I'd like to share my 